just to test it and see how much battery is left. Hi, here's Zachary Fisher. Here's the doing? famous comedian, Zachary Lewis. I'm going to get up there and do the funny things that I'm known for doing, like getting smashed and complaining about my ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. You and Mel Gibson. Oh. Right, I'm going to go crazy and well, I'm gonna burn death your threats. House that's down. right. Death threats is what I'm known for. That's yeah. how I make people laugh. Yeah. Laugh me or I'll kill you. We've eaten so many of this peanuts. It's almost sickening. Drunk so much Miller Lite, it's almost sickening. But we also had uh, shots of Jägermeister. Jägermeister. Oh man, that seemed to get a good fix of the Jägermeister, but it's up there. This is where it's at. We'll be performing. We're just waiting. Use the bathroom, I'll stop my entire stuff for you. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, I feel the energy in here tonight. You guys are like all pumped up. Fuck yeah! All right. So I wanted to tell you guys, I got a couple of things to tell all of you. Today, I was riding over here on the L, right? I saw an ad for a church. It said, we love straight people and we love gay people. And I was like, wow, that is really progressive. A bisexual church. It's like their Bible's like the script of Rocky Horror. <laughs> and God said to them, give yourself over to absolute pleasure. <laughs> All right, yeah, awesome. <laughs> That's the that energy I was looking for. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was looking around on the L. I see, I noticed that there's a like, really good looking girl like right across from me. So, believe it or not, guys, I started talking to her. That's right, that's right. I told her I'm a comedian. She's like, oh my god, can I take a picture with you? I'm like, can I jerk off to it? Just kidding, guys. I did not ask her permission. Yeah. So I look around, you know, I see a guy reading a comic book. I'm like... I know who's not getting laid tonight. That'd be me. Yeah. Woo! Energy in this room is great. You guys are awesome. So, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I wasn't getting laid. That's because my girlfriend, she got pretty mad. Because um, I got a blowjob from somebody else or whatever they get mad about nowadays. So she's like, you have to sleep on the couch tonight, which was kind of weird, right? Because I live in my parents' basement. Just kidding. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> she, uh, because I got a letter from her, like a breakup letter. Like, really? Who, who the fuck sent a breakup letter at this day and age? Like, come on, Facebook me, text me. Have your dad come threaten me. Something. But no, I got a fucking letter from the rehab center that she was in. You see, she had a little problem with cocaine. And by that, I mean she was addicted to cocaine. And it, like, it always made me wonder like, what it would have been like if I like, had proposed to her. Baby, will you marry me? How much is that ring worth? <laughs> Like she was pretty talented for a cokehead. She did a magic act, right? She made valuables disappear. <laughs> and then reappear in the pawn shop. <laughs> Ta-da! Good little act. Like, the worst part about dating her, though, was like she wouldn't smoke weed with me because she wanted to pass drug tests. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense to me, too. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I like to get high, and I heard the, the great response from j Doe when he asked if you guys like to get high, so I know this is a relatable bit. I got really high the other day, and I was reading Harry Potter. <laughs> Bad idea, right? Because I kept forgetting that I can't do magic, you know? Walked over to 7-Eleven, I need a cigarette. So I get there, I'm like, Asio Newports. <laughs> Got behind the counter, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, mind your business, muggle. <laughs>
Hey, hey, I said mumble, it's okay, it's okay. So I turned to leave, and like, I swear to God, I heard probably a mud blood on the way out. <laughs> so like, I'm walking home, and I see like a couple of dementors, or police, whatever. Either way, I'm like, expect to patrol them. Didn't work. But luckily, I know apparition. So I disappeared. And then reappeared in the pawn shop. Ta da! Oh, yeah, I don't know. What else I want to talk to you guys about? I've been on Facebook a hell of a lot recently. Um, and I'm, yeah, yeah, Facebook. Facebook! I am really sick of seeing people leaving these like depressing statuses though. Like my friend left one the other day. It's like, I can't make anybody happy, even myself. I just like, maybe if you spent a little less time on Facebook. Like, come on, let's go to the mall. I'll buy you an ice cream champ. But of course, like I left that as a comment on the status, so I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, Twitter, I like the Twitter too. Um, so I'm just going to leave you guys with this question about Twitter. Do you remember like the original version of Twitter called stalking? <laughs> yeah, like if I had a nickel for every time someone was informed about me following them, <laughs> I would have enough to get out of jail. <laughs> Thank you very much guys, I am Zach Lewis. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Lewis. Woo! All right, all right, thank you, Zach. How you guys doing? Yeah! Woo! Woo! I love the energy in here. Awesome. I love coming up to high energy. I want your body. We can make that happen. Make that happen. So, I got new material, so brace yourself. You might suffer. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's see, what happened? Uh, I found my one year old niece has a Facebook profile. Not cool. Not cool at all. Like, uh, yeah, it got me thinking, like, maybe we need some age limits on Facebook. Like, if you're over 70, you have to go to old book, which, as it turns out, is just your old high school yearbook. Uh, <laughs> awesome smattering of laughter. Um, if you're, if you're under 18, you have to go to MySpace. <laughs> Keep your Zanga-ass glitter graphics and your Miley Cyrus profile song, and get the fuck off of Facebook! <laughs> get off Facebook until you are old enough, you grow up, and you learn to hate your life like the rest of us. <laughs> My niece, she thinks she hates her life. I'm like, you're in middle school, what could you possibly hate about your life? You wait till you grow up and drop out of community college and become a comedian. Then you talk to me about it in your life. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I like to tell people I went to college. I did actually go to community college. That only counts as college because it has the word college in it. <laughs> it's really more like the sequel to high school. <laughs> yeah. I dropped out of community college. What, no applause break for that one? Um, no, I dropped out of community college <laughs> because it was a waste of time, it was a waste of money, it was a waste of weed, <laughs> but it was not a waste of effort because I did not put any in. <laughs> right. Um, what else do I got for you guys? Okay, I was listening to the radio the other day. I heard an ad for Six Flags. It said, if you find yourself in a two-flag scenario, drop everything and go to Six Flags. I was like, you could, or you could take ecstasy. <laughs> like, how else are they going to get this old man to dance to that annoying-ass song? <laughs> they gave that guy pills. <laughs> it's like x flags. Actually, no, scratch that. That is way too close to the Confederacy. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> 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 break from doing jokes. I want to tell you guys an actual story. Last night, I was uh, at the Sheridan Red Line stop on the northbound platform. Woo! Yeah, so many people know that's that. Cool. I was on the northbound platform. One other person there, sitting on the bench. Decided to go sit next to him because I'm ready to sit. I noticed this guy is wearing a ski mask. 
Holy shit! Why is he wearing a ski mask? <laughs> the southbound train comes in, he jumps down onto the rails, runs over to the train while it's stopped at the platform, and tags the shit out of it. I didn't read what it said, it was in weird letters, I couldn't read it, whatever. Jumps back up, comes directly over to me, with a ski mask on, looks me in the face and goes, FUCKING CHICAGO SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> So my frightened, bony little ass goes, uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> that was me! Cause it, <laughs> it was totally him. But that was all I could muster up at that point to the guy in the ski mask. I did notice he had a camera that he was filming with, so I'm going to be combing for YouTube looking for myself shaking on the side. <laughs> yeah. Now back to the jokes. What do I got? Uh, <laughs> so I got a big bag of cat food. And they, Woo! Woo! We have a good cat owner. Where's Brian Berry? I heard he was looking for a cat. Um, ooh, what a bad callback. So anyway, got a big bag of cat food, and I noticed like the back of it has feeding directions. Like if your cat weighs so much, you know, feed them this amount. Now with our obesity problem in America, I was thinking it'd be good we did this for kids' food. <laughs> Like, Lunchables. Like, if you're seven years old and weigh over 125, one cracker for you, Chunky! <laughs> That's right. Uh, I get half the room to chuckle the butt. Uh, okay, uh, get the light. Uh, so I'm just going to do one more for you. Where's the weed smokers at in here? Right! Two of us, we can go meet up in my car after I'm done here. <laughs> um, no, I got really high the other day, guys. I was reading Harry Potter. Bad idea. I was like, Expecto Patronum! Next thing you know, I woke up in a cell full of muggles with a cool scar on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 No, it's actually more foreign for me to be on stage telling jokes. <laughs> that was good. So, oh, what I'm going you guys about. Notice my 11 year old niece got a Facebook profile. Book. So, you grow up and you learn to hate your life, and in turn realize friendship is nothing more than 300 drunken photos. And an album called Girls Night Out. And I liked it. You wait till you grow up and drop out of community college and become a comedian. I didn't talk to me about hating your life. I mean, it's a waste of weed. <laughs> but it was not a waste of effort, because I did not put any in. <laughs> Got any weed smokers in here tonight? Great, there's three of us. We can meet up in the car while I'm down here. I was reading Harry Potter. Bad idea. <laughs> Next thing you know, I woke up in a cell full of muggles with a cool scar on my forehead. <laughs> Past two months of my life, I haven't had an intimate moment with a woman even once. Still doesn't explain the 46 months before that. I don't know, let me tell you guys a quick story, right? I was riding the L the other night. I don't know if any of you do that regularly, but this is what happened. I was waiting for my train to come. I go sit down on the, on the bench. Guy's sitting there. I look over. This guy is wearing a ski mask. Me. Looks me dead in the face with his ski mask still on and goes, That's some Chicago shit! <laughs> Only thing I could respond to that with, because I thought I was going to get mugged, was, Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you guys remember the original version of Twitter called Stalking? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I